Hello everyone, Tina Spalding Trance Channel here today for episode 10 of the Ascension series. Sorry it's been a long break, life has been a little crazy, my end I'm actually moving so I apologize for the um, the long time between these sessions but here I am and uh, the move will continue for a couple more weeks so bear with me. Um, just want to make an announcement today for all of you that are joining me. Uh, March 21st is our next online all-day event. Uh, it'll go from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. Pacific time on March 21st. Uh, it'll be me channeling with three other channelers and I will be uh, interviewing a couple of those channels uh, next week uh, so you can hear their backstory and how A Course in Miracles has um, change their lives. So that's an interesting aspect of the event. So the link will be in the description box below for registration. The price is 99 US dollars for the full day and you will receive a recording of the event so that you can listen back to it back listen to it again. Um, there's always a lot of information that goes flying by in these channeling sessions because they speak so quickly. So uh, that's going to be an exciting um, event and I'd love for you to join me there. Uh, let's see what Jesus has to say to us today in episode 10 of the Ascension series. <clears throat> you are blessed beings indeed. I am that one that you know as Jesus and here we are again. Yes, our dear one does has a, have a life. Yes, she does get caught up in the world sometimes as you all do. Uh, it's an important thing for you to understand here as we are going through this Ascension series and as we encourage you to do A Course in Miracles that you are going to continue living your lives, uh, making decisions, uh, moving, getting married, having children, buying groceries, all of those things. This spiritual practice does not require you to give up your Western life. What we want you to understand is that A Course in Miracles is designed to assist you in your Western life. That is why it was brought, brought through 50 years or so ago. It was designed for the Western mind. Uh, many spiritual practices are designed for Eastern minds and this can be problematic because when you are deeply entrained in a particular societal value system, uh, a, a value system that is different than your value system is very, very difficult to manage. So, for example, in Eastern philosophies, there is this respect for those who pick a spiritual life, go to an ashram, choose um, poverty. The idea of feeding the spiritual student is a very, very big idea in these Eastern philosophies. Not a big idea in Western philosophies. You're going to have to look after yourself. You're going to have to generate your own income. You're going to have to manage a busy Western life. Now this year has been a little different and for that we are grateful. We are grateful that many of you are deep, digging deeper into your inner worlds. We are grateful that many of the distractions of the Western world have faded away for some time now. You are beginning to see the effects of that. This is what we want to talk about today. <clears throat> How to manage the effects of the restrictions and losses that you have been going through based on this uh, uh, global experience that you're having. Yes, we're choosing our words carefully so our dear ones videos do not get deleted. This is something that's an effect of this current situation that you are not allowed to speak freely about certain things. This is a new experience for many of you. This is not a totally new experience for some beings who have lived in other oppressive societies. But for the Westerners it is a new experience not to be able to speak freely. This causes a restriction in the energy system and it can be quite painful to feel that you're not allowed to express yourself, to feel that it's dangerous somehow to be, that you might be getting targeted. These are some of the um, effects that this, um, uh, this behavior in your society right now is causing. 
when you feel that you're going to lose your freedom or you might lose your freedom because of something you say, this puts you into a very, very primitive fight or flight or freeze mode. And this is what you're seeing amongst many of your compatriots in Western countries is a freeze mode. Fight or flight, freeze, these are the ways that the ego protects you in dangerous situations. Uh, the ego, remember, is the part of your mind that believes in separation, that believes in death, that believes that fear is the best way to go. And so it is collecting information all the time uh, about your society and how you should function within society to keep your physical body safe. That is the ego's main purpose, to keep the physical body safe, partly because the ego only lives when your physical body is alive. They are inextricably entwined. So these pressures that you have been under for the, for the last year are triggering ego reactions. Things like disillusionment, depression, suicidal thoughts, uh, survival instincts around income and work, these kinds of things. So if you don't understand what's happening and you feel the pressures and you feel the shift and change in your personality, then it can be very overwhelming. What we want you to understand is that there is a counterpoint to these feelings that you're having and that is your spiritual practice. There are two thought systems. There is the Holy Spirit's thought system and there is the ego's thought system. The pressures that you are being put under by the global government that is um, influencing all of these activities is trying to push you into the ego's thought system, which is one that fears death, it fears physical death. This is the main uh, influencing factor that is being used right now to get you into these lower realms of functioning. When you're in survival mode, you are in short-term decision-making mode, let us say. You're not in sound, long-term decision-making mode. That only happens when you're relaxed and you feel secure and happy. How do you get to be relaxed and feel secure and happy? Do a practice that is a spiritual practice. Why? Because when you do a spiritual practice, you are not focusing on the body. You are focusing on the spirit. You are not focusing on death. You are focusing on eternal life. And this will raise your frequency up. What does raising your frequency up actually mean? When you're functioning in the lower realms of 3D, where depression, death, suicide, poverty, uh, restriction reside, restriction is a lower frequency aspect of 3D experience. So many of you are being restricted, so it kind of forces your hand down into those lower realms of 3D. That is not where inspiration resides. That is not where abundance resides. That is not where creativity resides. That is not where love resides. Fear lives down there with the restriction, with judgment, with expectation of death, these kinds of ideas. When you see that you're having these negative effects manifesting in your personality, perhaps you feel sad or perhaps you feel unmotivated, perhaps you are fearful of the government, fearful of the future, that tells you that you are in the lower realms of 3D and you need to shift. You need to shift your focus from survival of the physical body to the eternal power and strength that you can access through the spiritual body. The spiritual body is the understanding that you come from source. The spiritual body is the understanding that you are connected to the powerful creative source energy of this universe. You are not here by mistake. Death is not real in the sense your consciousness was before this body and it will be after this body. You are an eternal spiritual being. However, you must focus on that truth if you wish to overcome the programs and protocols and propaganda that are being forced down your throats. So the first thing, stop watching mainstream media. We understand that we say this all the time, but many of you are still dipping into that poisonous pool to see what's happening. Every time you choose to go into that poisonous pool, you are 
reaffirming that you believe that what the mainstream media is telling you is truth. Now, if you are an intelligent being and if you are researching information from many sources, you will understand that what the mainstream media is telling you is not truth. It is designed to frighten. It is designed to lower you into a more manageable state, which is this short-term ego-driven state, this fear of death state. So what we are saying in this Ascension series is get your mind into eternity. Get your mind into creativity. Get your mind into love. Love what you do. Love what you look at. Love what you entertain yourselves with. Make sure that the frequency of everything that you are choosing to allow into your mind is at the frequency of love. If you love cooking and you want to entertain yourself, then watch a YouTube video about cooking a new recipe. If you are a gardener and you want to get your frequency up, uh, buy a seed catalog, order some seeds, start working in your garden. These are the simple strategies to overcome the propaganda that is being pumped into your mind at this time. It looks as if it is a real world out there. It looks as if real things are happening to real people. But if you turn your television off, what is happening in your real world? What is happening in your real world? This is where we want you to go. Even though this world is not real, it is an illusory world, it is a figment of your imagination, if you will, we want you to start looking at the real world. Now, some of you will say, I don't like looking at the real world. Everyone's wearing a mask. Everybody's frightened. But we're not talking about that. We're talking about nature. We're talking about the real world. That is your... Um, immediate uh, friends and family. Now, if they are in fear, reach to the part of them that is common. So that means you can talk to your scared old auntie about when she was young and she used to have fun. Get her talking about things that are different than this mainstream media propaganda that is being fed to you. You have the ability to choose what you think about you have the ability to choose what you focus on. You have the ability to keep yourself up out of the realms of fear by choosing life. That means look outside your window, put your boots on, go for a walk, look at the birds. The birds are singing, the clouds are flying, the seagulls are fighting over pieces of bread, the waves are crashing on the beach. Nothing has changed except the perception that you are being fed. Make sure that you are mastering your mind. If you, if you can't do this, and that is the case for most people who have not been trained, if you can't master your mind and it keeps going to the negative, it keeps getting you into darker, shadowy aspects of your society, do a course in miracles with the support of the videos that this being has made so that you begin to master your mind. This is the upside of what's happening here. Many of you are beginning to feel the consequences of believing in the world. We want you to jump off that springboard and go to spirit now. You've felt how detrimental these stories of the world are, death and destruction, limiting of travel and freedom and uh, freedom of speech, all of these things that are seemingly being forced on you, seemingly real. It is propaganda designed to scare you. When you're scared, you're more manageable. Understand that you have the power. Understand that your mind is connected to God. When you are aware of what you're thinking and how you're believing and how you're acting. When you are manipulated, you become disconnected from the awareness of God's presence and the awareness of love's presence. You must take back your personal power, the ability you have to choose what you focus on. Choose, what, choose to focus on what you love. Choose to focus on what you want more of. Choose to focus on nature. Choose to focus on that which is free and given by the universe to you. 
Stop focusing on your society and focus on the intangible, the indefinable, the creative, all of these most important things. So for those of you that are thriving in this situation that you are experiencing, you must be doing something that you love, something that you believe in. For those of you that are not thriving, it is time to admit that you're not thriving and that you need to change your behavior and what you're allowing into your mind and what your thoughts are. You've got to remember, you don't have to believe every single thought you have. These thoughts that you're having that are negative and fearful are coming from the ego mind. The ego mind is where every negative and fearful thought that you've allowed to reside within you lives. And it will speak to you anytime there's a stressful situation. Hide in your house, don't talk to people, save your money. It will, it will limit you, it will, you will feel like it's a wet blanket on top of your spirit. When you are in these higher realms of 3D, tuning into spiritual truths, you will begin to feel better. You will walk out of your front door in the morning happy and knowing that you are connected to the most powerful source in the world, in the universe, in the galaxy. God's source. You are part of that source energy and nothing can take that away from you. You can, however, give it away using your free will. Where are you giving away your power? Where are you making poor choices? Where are you not studying wisdom texts? Where are you watching violence? Where are you watching sadness? Where are you consuming that which the globalists want you to consume? Now, there are those of you that say Jesus would never say this, but trust me, when I was alive on the earth plains so many years ago, I was a political activist. It is through politics that the influence of those who wish to control you is exerted. So it is okay to mention these things. I was a rebel. I was a revolutionary. I still am a rebel. I still am a revolutionary. But that the power of that revolution resides within your heart, within your soul, within your mind. It does not necessarily reside within the physical body. The physical body follows along what the mind says. So if you are feeling overweight, sluggish, depressed, disillusioned, it is because your mind has gone astray. So today, wake up to the fact that you cannot look at the world for your happiness. You must go to spirit. You must go to those intangible, powerful, creative aspects of your own consciousness. Love, freedom, joy, creativity, appreciation, gratitude. All of these things are free and you are able to access them now if you so choose. Turn that television off. It is not your friend. I am that one that you know is Jesus and I will speak to you again soon. All right. Thank you all for joining me. Um, just to remind you once again that the registration for our March 21st Spirit Rising Equinox live one day event is there and you can check it out. Um, you can also go to my website channelingjesus.com um, and um, check out some of the new um, items I've got available for you there. Thank you for joining me. I'll see you again soon. Bye.